All right, time to play some H3VR. We just got a new update today for uh, 102 Alpha 1, right? So it's not experimental anymore, but I'm still on the experimental branch, so I'm not uh, using any mods. But uh, yeah, it's time to check out the new stuff. Sorry I've been gone uh, before I start. Sorry I've been gone. I've been busy. But, uh, well, I had some time today, so I always make some time for H3VR when a new update comes out. Although, I don't always have enough time, but whatever. Let's just get through this, and uh, you might be wondering, oops, why there are so many magazines on the table. Well, this is part of the update. Uh, I'm just going to go through this real quick because um, it's, you know, it's, it's cool, but, I mean, it's not the main thing that I think everybody's looking for today. So, let's just go through this. Basically, Anton uh, decided to uh, add the uh, followers and the springs inside of these uh, magazines. So, you can see all these magazines have uh, either large witness holes or cutouts. So, basically... Oops, let's just grab these. As you can see, there is a follower and a spring. Cool. And yeah, so uh, the list of magazines right now, I think Anton is going to add more of these later on, but uh, so this is the Makarov. This is the APS. Actually, you know what? I wanted to check something out before I, uh, when I was spawning these uh, magazines, whoops, I saw that there were some other ones out here. I wanted to see if... Uh, from the same family. So we have the Makarov magazine, now we have the Makarov drum. Let me just see if this one has the... Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Well, this is going to be... Uh, you know what? Let's let's uh, let's shoot off uh, this uh, drum. And then uh, let me just tip a couple of bullets right there. Uh, automatic pistols. Makarov. Where is the Makarov? Uh, it's alphabetical, so I am too far. Makarov. Makarov. PMM. I think the PMM will work, right? Oh, no, it's different. I forgot. Ah. Uh, so dumb. So dumb. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now let's see if this, uh, yeah, I don't think this. <laughs> hmm. Nope. So yeah, it's only, uh, I think Anton is only, uh, at, whoop. Oh, don't worry about that. You'll see that later. Uh, Anton has only modified, uh, certain magazines, not all of them, but, uh, so some in the same family might not, might not work. So that's the Makarov. This is the, APS, which is over here somewhere. Uh, I'm trying to find it. Oh my goodness. My knowledge of uh, these guns is severely lacking today. Uh, APS. I know it's alphabetical. Wait, hold on. I just want to say, yep, all right. Completely forgot. Sorry, it's a machine pistol. Cool. Boom, APS, done. This is the Desert Eagle 357. So that should be in pistols. I guess we're just going to go through these, huh? Uh, 357, there it is. Spawn object. You know what I think would be a really cool addition to this map? There should be a target here. Like, just like a poster, right? And it's just a target, and then you can just shoot at it. Because <laughs> we're so close to the spawner, right? <laughs> it's right there. Uh, whatever. The KWG, this is a shotgun magazine fed. One of the earlier guns in the game. Oh, yeah. Look at this boy. Oops. 
I was uh, grabbing the, fr the front sight there. Look at that chonky spring. The Makarov? Oh, this is the Makarov, right? Where's the Makarov? That's APS. I don't know. That is the P. I'll keep that one. Uh, there it is. I'll get to these weapons later. Don't worry about it. Makarov. That nice little spring and follower right there. This is the Deagolov. D. Deagolov. D. Deagolov. The unholy spawn of Makarov and Deagle. Desert Eagle. You see they uh bop, 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 bop. Ooh, look at that. Magazine follower and spring. Ha! Done. This is the Ruby? Oh the Webley. Ah. Uh, trying to remember. <laughs> Webley, Webley, nineteen thirteen. Yes. I got the date right. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I'm not as stupid as I thought I was. Uh, Webley, 1913. Stick that baby in there. Whoa. I used up most of it. But there's the magazine follower in spring. Okay, what is this one? This is the modern macro. So this is the PMM. This one has the laser, right? Are you, uh... Oh, it's already on. You can barely see that magazine follower and spring in there. But it's there. This one is the Luger... P08. So where is <clears throat> that Luger? P08. We'll uh, do the uh, long barreled one. Also, this one has a. Uh... Yeah, well, I can't do much about this. This is a drum mag. You know what? I'm not going to focus on the drum mags. But this one, you can see a little tiny coiled up spring in there. Hope you can see that. Oh, I'm already out. Wow. That was fast. Either have fast fingers or I forgot how many rounds that holds. Uh, let's see. This is the GSH-18. Should be... There it is. Oops. And you can see nice big witness holes and a little tiny, tiny magazine spring in there. I don't know if you can see it. One, two, three, four. Now you can see it. Well, sort of. Uh, lighter background. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, still have some more. There you go. Cool stuff. This is the ruby. I think this is the ruby. The smallest one here. Well, aside from the Bergman, but... Uh, which is next? Let's see. Ruby... Where are you? PQR, there it is. Beep. Beep, beep. Tiny, tiny gun. Can barely see it. Actually. Hold on, I want to check something out. Uh, Ruby. Hmm. Huh. That is a very... Either I can't see the spring. It's very small. Hmm. I don't know. Let's just clean this up. Get out of here. Uh, this is the Bergman. I don't have to uh, look it up. I know what this is. Where is the Bergman number five? Let's do the carbine. Also, there's another mag in here. Oh, I think this one also works as well. Well, I gotta clean this all up. Hold on. 
Cleaning up, cleaning up. Gives me a stock as well. Of course. Oh, we all saw it when I was uh, removing the bullets from the magazine there, but yeah. This is the P5. P5. P5 Compact. Walther. If I remember correctly. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Well, we'll see it when we fire it off. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Nice little spring. Just for more added uh, immersion. Mostly because I think, uh, from what I remember, Anton said that he is going to have a gun that has uh, something to do with these magazine followers and springs. So that's why he's doing it, which is going to be pretty cool. All right, UMP-45. Which, uh, we'll just get through this really fast. Actually, look at it from this angle. Huh. Oh, that's right. Wait. I can't really see inside there. Oh, that's like a transparent uh, plastic, right? But you can't see the, uh, the other side, which is... I think that's what that is. Yeah. All right, uh, and then the UMP-9, which uh, let's just spawn this baby here so we can move on. Cool. All right, let's clear these uh, guns out of the way and let's get to the actual meat of the uh, update today. Meat Fortress. <laughs> now, you probably already know, but we finally got some weapons for the pyro. And uh, one of them is this. This is the signaler. Yes, the signaler. So, break action flare gun. Boop. All right, so controls up on the touchpad to break it open. Flick it closed. Uh, down on the touchpad to uh, pull back the hammer. Not really the hammer, is it? I don't know what you want to call that. This is a meat fortress weapon after all. It's not terribly too realistic, but... And... Oh, okay, so down on the touchpad operates the hammer. Also, left on the touchpad operates the hammer. So every other direction other than up operates the uh, little thing back here. And you can also fan fan it if you want to. Just move your hand over like that. Cool. All right. Now, these are the ammo types. I'm going to have to take a look at these because I forgot the names. I do have a list pulled up, but uh, they don't say on the uh, list. So this is the classic, oops, well, let's put this one in, uh, I need some Sosix, Sosix spawner, here we go, let's grab this, we're just gonna spawn some Sosix, uh, simple, static, Game is frozen. There we go. All right, let's add a couple here. And I think we can activate these guys. Let me just uh, activate all. No, hold on, I gotta select all. Actually, you know what? Delete all. Um, do we have, oh, okay, we'll have civilians. Wings fan. Hmm, that's weird. Hmm. Well, I'm going to select all and then delete all. Whatever. Um, hmm. Okay, well, that's not going to work. Well, you know what? We'll just go with melee. There we go. All right. 
I should put uh, spawn activated, but whatever. Select all, activate all. Are you all activated? Hopefully you're all activated. Okay, so we got the classic, which is this one, the red one. Oh, I gotta pull the hammer back. And he's on fire. Let me uh, get a little farther here so we can see the effect of the classic. Yeah, I just blew his head off. <laughs> we need to... You know what? I think maybe I should spawn... I should spawn some... Uh, some meat fortress. So six. Because they, I think, are a lot more resilient. Demo. Demo. Oh, heavy. Sorry. Heavy. Engineer. Medic. Sniper. And we'll do a little, uh, for the last round, I think we'll probably need to spawn him from all the way over there. Just hide over there, medic. All right, so. We're ready. I think I'll need to go a little bit farther away. You know what? I'm going to shoot this off first. Okay. Cool, cool. All right. So this is the, uh, whatever this is, the classic round for it. And he's on fire. Cool. Thank you, Scout. All right. So that was the classic. This is the conflagration. Now, I, I, I've I watched the video. I forgot what uh, each of these rounds do. So this will be a learning experience for all of us. But uh, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Everyone's on fire. Except for Pyro. He's, he's okay. But it's basically like... Uh, well, I don't know what you call it. A little flamethrower round, incendiary. Uh, yeah, th I think uh, this one is more of a slug. This is more of an incendiary. Let's go with this one. This is the danger close. Oh, I'll save that for later. That one there. This is the sunburn, which I think, if I remember correctly, is a flashbang round. Everybody's blinded. Everybody's on the floor doing the dinosaur. All right. Well, yep. Flashbang. Oh, I missed. <laughs> well, you know what? I missed. But. Wait. Where did the round go? Danger close. Now, this is the fun one. I don't know if it'll work in this area, but. Basically, this is like a, a artillery signal, right? So. We'll just... Oh, I missed. Oh, there we go. Cool. So, if you want to go and signal an artillery strike... You know what? I should, I should kill the spy first. I need to aim this properly right here. Uh, how do I aim this thing? Ah, close enough. There we go. I don't know where the spy went. He probably flew off and died. <laughs> Let's just make sure. No, he's still alive. All right. I'm not going to miss. Point blank. Whoop. There we go. Have fun. Oh, no, you know what? Ah, uh, well, that's close enough. I think Anton said that it's not going to be as accurate, but uh, it shouldn't matter because it is... An artillery round. Oh, well, you know, we have enough health. Yeah, there we go. Alright, these guys are still alive. Oh, you know what? I forgot. We have one more thing, so... Let's just uh, do that. And, that, you know, that's the signaler with its different ammunition, kind of like the Danger Close. I want to do a one little thing before I uh, move on with that. But uh, for right now, let's grab our incendiary grenade, which is new. 
Uh, we finally got one, so people are asking for one. I guess they can use the Meat Fortress one, but uh, it's an incendiary grenade. Looks like a WP-03 on there. White phosphorus, maybe? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't, uh, you know, the uh, the pyro is uh, doesn't really care about war crimes, so, you know. Probably deserve that. It's actually nice to feel a little something. Roasting those weenies. Ah, oh, they're still alive. Well, you know what? I want to see if this will work. Do, 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 do. Just a whole bunch, bunch of these rounds. Danger close right here. Oh, no. They're moving all over the place. Oh, that's okay. I'll just lob two of these uh, white phosphorus grenades. Okay. Cool. Grab this, put that in there. Grab this. All right, boys. Have fun. Let's see if this works. I would pay good money for this. Oh, the light. Oh, God. Uh, I am flying out of the map. Oh, no. I can't see my handiwork. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Uh, that's sort of... Well, I didn't get to see it. I was launched into space by my own, uh... Alright, you know what? We're gonna do this. We're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna have some fun here. Hold on. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna have some fun. I was gonna move on to Meat Fortress, but... This is pretty fun. One activated. Yes. We'll just do a lot of spies, because... I'm an engineer, kind of kind of guy let's do this on the roof you know what let's do this on the roof ah. huh. oh there we go let's just have a whole bunch of spies do 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 Whole bunch of spies. Okay, we don't need this anymore. So I'll just grab that, put that there. And we'll just throw a couple of these around. Have some fun with that. Oh, you know what? I should get a remote explosive. Maybe I can watch from a distance. Ah, get away from me. Come on. Oh, I'm so... Oh, wait. I just noticed something. Yeah, I'm running out of battery for my controller. <laughs> this is not good. Okay. Let's make sure we got some spots over here where they can't escape. All right. Now I need to grab some... Uh, need to grab some... Remote explosives, tools and toys. Remote explosives. Got some C4. Spawn the object. Detonator. Oh, that's right. I have to do this manually every time, huh? Well, whatever. That. Oh, oh no! I lost my C4. Grab that. All right, I forgot how this goes. No, oh, no, it's fine. All right. Stick a couple. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, no, this is not going to work. C4 is not going to work. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work. Because then it'll just launch all the... Um, launch all the... Alright, well, 
I don't know how I'm going to do this. Man, all these things are rolling in places I don't want them to go. Uh, I'm sorry for the setup here. Stop rolling away. Get over there. No, 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 no. You, you, stop. Stay over there. Well. Oh, uh, you know what? I think I could do this. Let me grab the, uh... Where is it? Ah, here it is. Since it'll take time, I can just go to, uh, let's see. Is that Annex B? Yeah, we'll go to Annex B. You know what? Let's go to Annex B first. Annex B. Where is B, B, B? There we go. Oh, I have to climb up the stairs. Oh, man. Or, I can try my best to uh, launch one of these incendiaries over there. Yeah, we can do that. Let's do that. I don't know if this, will, this is, I don't think this is going to work. And also my tracking, come on. Oh! One of the things blew up. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, there's one over there. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I like that. That was fun. Oh, man. I think I need to figure out a better way to uh, launch one of these things. Oh, we still do have a spy that's alive, so... Right there, right on him. And he's dead. Alright, well, that is the new weapon for the pyro. Still one more weapon left. Let me just go and sit down, because I'm tired. Oh, also, my muscles are sore. Ah, uh, because, uh... Well, uh, I don't want to reveal too much uh, my, what I did, but uh, yeah. But anyways, that's uh, the the uh, weapon for the pyro. Uh, the engineer, I think, is the last one. And I am waiting for that because I primarily play the engineer when I play Team Fortress. Because I was really bad at the game. And, uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool, especially with this round. This is, this is new and different, you know? All right. Actually, you know what, what I want to do Let's go to the main menu here. Ooh, now both my controllers are in the red. I need to charge them. All right, I'm sitting down because I am tired. But let's go to the Arizona range. And let's see how far we can launch these things. I know I should just play Meat Fortress, but let me just get a little bit of rest first here. All right. Oops. Out of the way. Oh, come on. Meat Fort. Uh, the old spawner. I need the ammo panel. Do do. Um, yeah, I need to do this. I forgot how to do it. Danger close. Danger close. Give me this.
Okay. Now, let's turn around here. See if we can fling this at the mountain. Boop. Wherever it lands, it's going to go. Still going. Oh, I love that delay. It's so cool. See if we can move it farther. Also, I'm gonna scratch my forehead. Uh, this sucks. <laughs> that is cool. I like this. This is a cool round. Alright, you know what? I want to do one thing. I'm going to I'm going to revisit that idea. Oh, let me stand up again. I'm going to revisit that idea. Uh, let's see. Miscellaneous utility? No. Uh, crafting. Bucket. I need a bucket. Soldier needs his bucket. Alright, grab that. We will grab ourselves remote Explosive. I'm going to revisit this idea because uh, let's go teleport. We're going to go real fast out here. We're just going to. All right, we're going to find a nice flat spot. Okay, cool. Oh, you know what? Should have done first. No, come back. Uh, ow. Where'd you go? Ha. All right, you know what? Let's just do two, just for good measure. Oh, come on, go. Oh, no. Got it. All right. And they're flat. Oh. All right. Arm swing. I'm going to sit down. Hold on. I'm going to get this right. All right. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Get in there flat. Like so. Should it be flat? At least flat. Oh, I think that's armed, right? You know what? Let's put one out here. There we go. All right, let's fill this thing up with uh, rounds. Oh, yeah. I think Anton suggested this on the uh, video, so we'll see if this uh, kills the computer or not. Just going to stick a whole bunch of rounds inside the bucket. And then the secondary explosion is going to blow it, I think, out that way, right? Let's just top this up. Okay, cool. Teleport. Turn around. We're going to see... We're going to see some cool stuff here in a moment. Let me just uh, get back. All right. Should be up there, right? Let me arm swing my way back into the seat here. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Well, yeah, it wasn't as impressive as I thought, but probably because of the method. I need to... Maybe, maybe a bigger explosion might launch the uh, flares a little more. But it all seemed to go down in, like, one spot where they originally exploded, so... Yeah. 
maybe uh, somebody out there with the mods can do uh, what you call it. Cursed DLL can can stick uh, this round in a uh, automatic, fully automatic weapon and just uh, go to town. But I don't have the mods on right now, so I can't really do that. But you know, I mean, the potential is there. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Well, you know, they don't call it danger close. So, for nothing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Makes you fly. I want to get it directly on top of me. All right? So... All right, where is it coming from? Oh, there it is. Ah, I should do that. Let me. Okay, that'll be the final thing for today. Uh, I was gonna play some Meat Fortress, but I'm running out of battery on these things. So, where are you coming from? Ah, oh, man, I was close. I almost caught it. <laughs> That's why they call it Danger Close. Oh, no, that was a little too far. So if I shoot here. Yeah, all right, I think I figured it out. No, oh, well, no, I didn't. All right, I think that's about it for today. My, uh, I'm, I'm tired, basically. So, I might play some, I might play some Meat Fortress later on, but uh, I have to charge these controllers first, so I don't know how long that'll take. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.